What is happening? Of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! You are not advertiser friendly! No, no, we are not, and we never will be, will we? No, I don't think so. Anyways, episode number 23! Episode number 23! Oh my goodness! And you know what? I was inspired. I was inspired by Don't Go in the House to watch another Don't movie. So I decided, hey, why don't we watch Don't Answer the Phone? A movie that I have no idea why they call it Don't Answer the Phone because I don't think the phone has really much anything to do with this, honestly. So what is this movie about? Well, glad you asked. So this movie is about a man who is a complete batshit crazy asshole. He is uh, probably a Vietnam vet just because of like the fatigues that he wears and whatnot. But he, he goes around strangling young women and raping them and assaulting them in many different forms and then he would take pictures of them and sell those pictures to a local pornographer and uh he would also call this uh radio shrink and basically i guess troll her it would be like the the, the most accurate thing I can think of <laughs> to describe what he's doing. So basically pestering her. Anyways, I guess he's got some sort of unhealthy obsession with her among all his other unhealthy obsessions. Anyways, and then the story is also about the police trying to find who this guy is and their interactions and their detective work or lack thereof. Oh my God, this movie. <laughs> Anyways, so... <laughs> Let's get to the scores, because, man, when I tell you about what's happening score-wise, you're going to get an idea of what this fucking movie... Oh, my God. Anyways, so Violet Zagor, Violet Zagor, a one out of five. Look, look, there's there's some strangulation, yeah, but, I mean, nothing's, like, too graphic, except toward the end there's some, there's some blood and uh, bullets flying around. But, honestly, not too much. And on this guy... <laughs> I swear, these women go down quickly fast uh, from the strangulation. I mean, it's like two seconds and they're out. I mean, he should teach freaking Spock from Star Trek uh, about the Vulcan neck pitch because, like, he's got this girl, he's, like, choking her, and then all of a sudden he's got his arm off, and he's basically one-handed choking her down. And she's all like, uh... And I'm like, oh, man, he mastered the fucking... Vulcan neck pinch right there, didn't he? Holy shit. I just, like, that's part of some of the ridiculousness uh, of, of this movie. It, it is, oh my god. <sighs> Anyways, one out of five. Shock value, zero out of five. There is nothing scary. There is nothing remotely frightening about this movie. I mean, at first you're thinking, okay, this is this is going on as, as kind of like, you know, your regular slasher type of psycho murderer. You know, it starts off with this guy is doing all this, you know, bodybuilding posing. And there's like a shot of like, you know, uh, a crucifix. So it's like, okay, he's going to be like some deranged, you know, uh, religious nut or something like that. Anyways, and then like, oh, there's a nurse and, and she's pretty sexy looking. And then she gets a phone call from her mom. But my God, mom's got a very deep voice. And sounds very manly. I, it's really kind of confusing. I thought it was maybe her boyfriend <laughs> at first, but I guess you could say I said mom several times in the conversation, so I don't know. Anyways, and then he's like, then he's like, he just goes up to her, just starts, strangles her to death and tears her top off. I'd be mean, like, okay. Anyways, so, so anyway, shock value, like zero, out of, like, like nothing. Even the jump scare that they tried to put toward the end is so telegraphed that there is no way anyone would get fooled by it whatsoever. Anyway, zero out of five. Plot, one out of five. Look, this plot 
is is so it's it's just like ah uh, you have like zero or no context i mean sure at the end they try to like kind of give an explanation but half of it is him just bullshitting to the to the uh, the psychiatrist, and honestly, I kind of enjoyed the fact that he he would turn the things on around, like he would pretend that oh we're making a breakthrough. I'm so sorry. I've got no fuck you, hi bitch, you know things like that. It's like it's like oh I had a puppy dog. Yes, he was the sweetest, cutest puppy. Oh, he was the wonderful joy. But I had to strangle him because he was shit on my mother's Oriental rugs. He was shit on them. Ah. I'm like okay, all right. But really, I mean, like, like, there's no... It feels like, like they didn't do any real job of establishing why he's obsessed with the, uh, with the radio psychiatrist. They, they have, like, this forced love thing between one of the detectives and the psychiatrist, which, I mean, ob like, there was, like, no character growth whatsoever uh, in that situation. And, and honestly, you, you're still trying to figure out, like, why this guy's so nuts and why are the cops so incompetent and i mean like oh gee they like they're like there's this scene they they go into this this uh brothel and uh they're looking for this guy and there's this this guy and they just wax him like like several shots and and then they're all like they're all like oh well there's there goes our only bleed uh man it's like now we gotta go out and fill all this paperwork and the other cops like come on we? No, you gotta fill out paperwork. I missed. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> anyways, whatever. The thinnest of thin, one out of five plot. Acting, I'm gonna have a, give it a, a valuable, or not a valuable, a, a generous three out of five because I just love the acting of the police officers. Their interactions with each other are probably like the highlight of the movie. They are just funny and and ridiculous and like and like they're so cliche like the the guy offs this, this guy offs the dudes and he's like he's like he's like uh you know adios amigo i'm like it's the cheesiest worst one-liner blow-off line ever just like and it so fits though man it's 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 just oh my god. Anyways, they are a joy. Everybody else is suspect or, or messed up. Anyway, so uh, three out of five nudity. Uh, three out of five. I mean, we do get quite a few uh, breastuses in this movie. However, most of them are pretty short, but you do get a lot of pictures because there's like a lot of porn places that they're going to, uh, pornography studios, uh, his own personal. Uh, photo studio, just a bunch of uh, tits all over the place. So, decent three out of five. And uh, here comes the surprise. Enjoyment factor. I'm giving it a four out of five. Look, this movie is like nothing. It's, it's just nuts. The movie... You're just, like, looking for a horror movie, and then you find yourself into, a, like, what was maybe, like, a dark comedy or something, because the, the, it's just, it's, it's so laughable, and the thing is, like, are they actually trying to be serious? And if they are, holy shit, did they fucking fail, because it is so laughable. The, the, the lines, the dialogue, the scenes, I mean, the whole brothel scene was just hilarious, like, there is... The suspect and the owner of the brothel are doing a coke deal, and then they hear that the cops are there, and they freak out, and the coke goes all over the place, and the one guy's trying to flush the toilet with the coke. He's like, it's not flushing, it's not flushing, and the two prostitutes are all, like, snorting the, the, the spilled cocaine all over the place, and it's just, it's just, like, nuts, and what's going on, and... Oh my god, the guy's the, the, the main detective's partner. Oh shit. I mean he's like a smooth, funny character throughout throughout this film. How the at the beginning the freaking medical examiner is just cracking jokes and, and and things like that. And like the the movie, I don't know, I think I, it has to be on purpose because there's like he's he's cracking jokes, he's like, yeah, I think he's from like Fresno and stuff like that. So he just comes in every so often, you know. Sees the sights, kills some women, you know, and then goes back home. So I'm saying, you know, you're safe for another three, four days. You know, basically, tonight, you can all sleep well. Nothing's going to happen tonight. And they cut to the scene where they bust through some woman's door that night to go murder and rape her. And it's just like, it's like, this has to be on purpose. This, there's no way that this could be just this and 
in unintentionally hilarious. But I mean, it's a, I just I I couldn't stop watching. I was enthralled. I was waiting to see what the hell was gonna happen next, and it was just crazy funny shit after funny shit. Like the cops bust in on the wrong guy. I mean, it's 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 like oh, it's just I don't I don't know. It's 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 ridiculous. It's ridiculous, but it's so enjoyable. I mean, four out of five. I was just I mean, like get out, grab some popcorn and just watch it. My God. But my overall impression is a one out of five because this movie is bad. This movie is as a horror movie, it is a failure. I mean, yes, it's got some violence. Yes, it's got some titties. Uh, it's got a psycho killer. Uh, but that's really all that it has going for it. Uh, unless you're looking to see something that is so just weird and, and, and messed up. Then you can enjoy it that way. And that's how I enjoyed it. Like, I started in going looking for, for a horror movie. In the end, I, I ended up laughing and going, oh my goodness. This is an experience. Holy shit. So, one out of five overall impression. And that averages out to be a path pretty pathetic 1.9 out of five. Yeah. So, there you have it. Don't answer the phone. I still don't know why they call it that. Maybe it's because she's a... Uh, a psychiatrist in a phone and radio show, so apparently she's not supposed to answer the phone because he might call to troll her. But, I mean, it's not like one of those things where, oh, I'm going to call someone and the minute you answer the phone, you're dead. Or any, It's not. I don't. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Have you seen this movie? Leave a comment. Do you totally agree with me? Do you think this is like one of the worst, but yet best? Or do you think, no, it's, it's, it's a masterpiece and you totally didn't get its subtle, uh, frightening scares and that is like the most terrifying motion picture experience of all time. I don't know. Anyways, leave a comment, leave a like and all that stuff and I will see you next time on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. But until then, you guys stay sexy internet, you guys stay scary internet, and oh my god, don't answer the phone, oh my god, because like literally has nothing to do with the damn fucking movie shit, oh my god.